Hello. In this video, we're going to show you how to assign item locations inside SellerChamp. So everybody who sells items has to store those items somewhere. And eventually, you're going to have to come find that item so you can ship it out. So assigning it an item location can become very pertinent for people with big warehouses. And so we give you a few ways to do that in SellerChamp. So let's first go into your eBay settings, talk about where you can enable or uh, disable those settings and how you can actually assign locations in different ways. So right here we're inside our eBay account and we're looking at this require item locations. So right now it's, it's uh, on yes which means that every time a new item is scanned in or a CSV is uploaded uh, the item locations are going to be required. Um, so let me go ahead and start with this um, and I'll come back to the no. Basically no means it's not required you can still put it in if you want to, uh, but you're not going to get an error message when you do it. And also, with both of these, there is a bulk way to actually assign locations. So let's start with the yes and uh, show you how to do that while you're scanning. And then we'll get to the no and to the bulk uh, features um, as a little bit later, okay? So let me go ahead and go to a manifest I've created and uh, we'll get started. So I am in a new item manifest here. And I'm going to go ahead and enter an uh, item here that I've got uh, for this particular ASIN. And when I enter it and uh, select one of the ones that I've used previously, you're going to see that it gives me an error. The item location can't be blank. With uh, the yes enabled on the locations, I can't get past this screen without, uh, without actually putting a location in. So I'll go ahead and enter an item location. And you'll notice now that it scans in after I select the item again and here it is populated with the location which I could still change if I hover over it manually okay. I could also change this by selecting it and doing assign item location say I want to change it to this L4 here I could even clear that extra location out or I could add it to the list of locations but I'm going to go ahead and clear this one out and save it. And you'll notice that this will reload here in a second with the new location. Okay. And there it is. All right. So that's how you can assign you'll assign locations as you go. So using this first method I've gone ahead and submitted this item to eBay so I could show it to you in inventory uh, and show you how it looks there after uh, after you've done it. So let me go to my inventory. And this item is in my inventory and of course you can see the location. Again, I could, if I had it assigned to a separate location, I could assign a new location to it here the same way I did in that manifest. But also if I click on its quantity here, I'm actually going to be given the location and the quantity that I associated with it. Uh, if I had scanned this into different uh, manifests, I would have multiple locations here with quantities associated with them. And so that's how it looks um, when you have the items uh, that enabled. So let me go back now and show you this without it enabled. So now I'm back in my settings. I will turn this off and save it. So let me go back into that same manifest now and start over and show you. Okay, so I have cleared out the manifest and actually uh, taken that item down off eBay. And I'm going to go ahead and show you now, same empty manifest, same item, locations are off. And so now it goes ahead and lists that item without a location. But I could still go in and type one in if I wanted to. And again, I could still go in assign a location to it and have it take it but this brings into play also um, the ability to bulk assign items so let's say we've scanned in a bunch of items so let me go ahead and put in a few more items and I'm gonna show you how you can uh, actually bulk assign items uh, a location okay so give me just a second and I'll be right back. Alright, so now I've actually got, uh, 
let's say this manifest is full. It could have more items than this, but uh, I've gone ahead and put in six items. And it's time to go put these items in my warehouse. And I may not have space in one location, but I may have some more in another. So I need the ability to be able to move around the warehouse and put these in different spaces. So there's a way to bulk location uh, assign using SellerChamp. And it works something like this. Now that your manifest is done, uh, whether it's submitted or not, uh, it doesn't really matter. You can go into more actions here and you can actually assign uh, item locations. And using this, what you basically are going to do is you'll have predetermined locations out in your warehouses with barcodes that you can go to with a wireless scanner. And you'll scan in that item location. Um, and we're going to assume, for our purposes, let's say it's this LM location, LM4. And you can either decide to put all those items in that location uh, that are in this manifest, um, or you can just scan certain items into it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is put just some of the items in this location, and then we can move to another location. And how we're going to do that, we're, you can do it a couple of ways. So you can either take your laptop out into the warehouse with a scanner attached to it, which is pretty cumbersome, or you can have a wireless scanner that's uh, RF'd into the, the computer you're using in your office, and you can bring up this screen before you go into your warehouse, just like this, and print yourself out a label using this print save label. So let me show you how this works. It's cut off a little bit, but you'll see it. Um, you click that button to print save label, and you'll print this barcode, and you'll take it out there with you as you're scanning your items. All right, got the idea. All right, let's go back to the, net, the previous page. Now you're at that location, and you scan it with your wireless scanner or with the scan with your laptop. And let's say it is LM4. There's your location. And you have enough room for maybe two of these six items in that location. So you want to select scan items below and then you can scan the UPCs off of those items uh, or you can scan the, the SKU. Maybe you printed the label out when you were doing it. Um, so let's let me go ahead and take the SKU off one item. Let's say I scan it in and now I hit the plus button and now that item is assigned to that location and let's say I get the next item that I can get into that location and I scan it too and click the plus and now that second item is assigned to that same LM4 location but say that now that location's full and it's time to move on to the next location well that barcode that you just printed out at this point you would scan that print save label that you printed and it would then move you on to the next location so I'll kind of do that virtually for you. So if I click save now, or if you had scanned that print save label that we just showed you, it would then clear out your item location and the items as well, and you can move to another one. So let's say you move over to W2, and you want to put in more items there. You could do it just like you just did the first few. So now I'm going to scan in the next item SKU while I'm there. And now it's assigned to that location. So you kind of get the idea that this will this will go this way as well. And so now those two items are in that location. So once you get done assigning those items, and I'll go ahead and fast forward for you so you can see all of them in a location now. And once I click save and close, let's say I'm done scanning. I've put everything in a location out of the warehouse and I can come in, I click save and close on the laptop or the computer and when I reload the page all those items that were in that manifest now have a location assigned to them based on what I scanned out there. You'll see every one of them LM4. And so that's how you can bulk scan your items into a location. At this point, you can either submit it to eBay, or you could have already submitted it to eBay. It didn't really matter. You can even do this um, in your warehouse as well, um, in, inside your inventory tab if you needed to. Uh, let me show you that real quick. Okay.
So I'm here in my inventory uh, tab. I could do the same thing for any of these by uh, clicking the location or clicking the item and going up to more actions and assigning an item location just like I did in that manifest. But I could also decide that I, uh, I want to go ahead and do a bulk uh, here as well. So if I go to more actions here with nothing selected, assign item location, I can do the exact same thing I just did. I can do it the same way. Enter a SKU. Well, matter of fact, let me go ahead and just throw one in here. I use one that I already used before, but we're going to change the location on it. So let's say we're at R3, and I just want to put one item in there. I'll pull up its SKU. I'll clear out its previous locations, or I can even just add to the locations. Now that item's scanned there. If I save and close it, and I pull up that item in my inventory, you'll see now that it's actually got two locations assigned to it. So that's how you can assign locations using SellerChamp. And uh, thank you very much for watching. We hope you found it informative. Uh, any questions or comments, please put them in the video below, um, or put them in the space below the video, excuse me. Uh, always happy to have feedback. And please subscribe to your SellerChamp YouTube channel for more exclusive content.